It's almost a year now since I set off on my quest to become the first person to ride an electric motorbike not just from Lansden to John O'Groats, but further north still to score at the very top of Shetland. I had originally planned to do the trip with fellow electric vehicle advocate James Coates, with James riding a Demo Zero bike lent to him from street bike Hale Soen, who themselves were very supportive throughout and who managed to obtain external quick chargers for us to use on the trip. On the back of the trip, James and I picked a charity each for whom we wanted to raise funds. In my case, as a member of Coventry and Warwickshire Advanced Motorcyclists, I know several people who give up their time and ride bikes or work behind the scenes for Warwickshire and Solihull Blood Bike. The Blood Bikers provide an out-of-hours wholly voluntary service to the NHS, transporting essential items between hospitals both immediately within the area and, in cooperation with other blood bike groups, further afield. For his part, James chose the charity Tommy's, which funds research into pregnancy problems and supports parents during pregnancy. In the end, James couldn't make the trip, as he himself was expecting to become a father, and, well, babies have their own timetable. Nevertheless, I maintained that I would honour the split in fundraising, and, in any case, James was ultimately integral to the project in his support role, getting me and the bike to the start point at Land's End, and then collecting me on my return from Aberdeen. I had a fundraising target of £1,000 I had hoped to reach, but following initial support, things tailed off. However, I kept the fundraising page open in the hope that some more funds would trickle in as the trip received further press coverage. As things stand, I'm still quite sure to that target, and so, if you haven't already done so, please do consider making a donation to these two worthwhile charities. The fundraising campaign page closes on the 26th of August. Donating is straightforward and is managed through MyDonate, who have a very good reputation as a fundraising channel. With the anniversary of the start of the trip approaching on the 18th of August, I'll be pushing content out on the trip's dedicated Facebook page on the anniversary of each day, so if you missed it the first time round, there'll be a chance to relive the journey with me. For more information about the charities, and to find out more about the journey and my experiences on this UK first, please visit www.johnchivers.com forward slash score. Thank you for watching and please do consider helping out these two great charities.